All right, so this is the tri-jet uh, disinfecting fogger. Uh, in order to use it, you want to first make sure that all the doors to the ambulance are closed, especially the pass-through window to the driver's compartment. This is going to fill the back of the truck with fog, uh, disinfecting fog. Open up the garage bay doors or you can run this outside. You really want to have adequate ventilation. Uh, make sure you wear gloves when you're dealing with the uh, disinfectant solution. And you want to avoid breathing in the fog that's produced. Um, if you have to enter um, the environment, you need to make sure you're wearing a respirator, proper PPE. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. Um, so in order to operate the fogger, uh, we have a, a mist. It needs to be set to fine. This is your adjustment control. Just leave it where it's at. On the other side is the power switch. You want to make sure that that is off. And you want to make sure that this uh, filter bag is in place on the back of the unit. <coughs> the unlatch the reservoir. There's four latches. And just set the power head down. We're using a disinfecting fluid called Triple Quick. We're going to pour some of the Triple Quick into the reservoir so that it's about less than an inch deep. About an inch deep at the bottom of the reservoir is fine. It really does not take a whole lot of this fogging fluid uh, to accomplish the task. Put the power head back on the reservoir and latch the latches. The next thing we're going to do open the back door of the ambulance Set it right here and plug the unit in. You can plug it into the inverter if you like. Um, so now we want to run the fogger. So we're going to reach over, we turn the fogger on, start blowing out the fog, close the door, and wait two minutes. No more, no less. That's how long it takes for this to generate all the fog inside the ambulance in order to fully disinfect all the surfaces. After our two minutes is up, we're going to open the door, turn it off, and then close the door right away. Try not to breathe in the vapors. Flip your switch, close the door, let it sit for three minutes. This will allow the disinfectant the contact time that it needs in order to disinfect all the surfaces inside the ambulance. After three minutes of contact time, we then want to open all the doors of the ambulance and let it ventilate. As you can see, there's quite a bit of fog in there um, and all the surfaces inside have been in contact with the disinfectant.